my dear friends of Jesus Youth in Canada. I am excited to speak to you from St. Joseph's Oratory uh, from Montreal. I am just standing with the major relic of uh, St. Brother Anfrey, who, whom you have chosen to be the patron saint for your national conference in 2024. It's a great pleasure to participate in this national conference and I'm sure that many youth from across Canada will come to participate in this great program, a great effort that's done by all of you. So I just wanted to talk to you a little more, little more about the patron saint, St. Andrew the Set. Here is the reliquary, the major reliquary. This reliquary was made in 2010 at the time of the canonization of Brother Andre. And this reliquary has gone to so many dioceses and parishes and schools and colleges across Canada and the United States. And people have prayed through the intercession of St. Andre. Many of them have received healings and miracles through the intercessory powers of Brother Andre. So in this reliquary, you will find a piece of the heart of St. Andre. And there is a stone taken from St. Joseph's oratory representing the church. And there's a medal of St. Andre representing his life. So the first class relic is a piece of the heart of St. Andre, which is very powerful. Brother Andre is known to be the miracle man of Mount Royal. Though he had a very simple life, very humble beginning, born in uh, Mont saint gregoire near, near Montreal. He was an orphan at the age of 12. He lost his father at the age of 10 and mother at the age of 12. And he had to move from one place to the other. He left Canada to go to the US at the age of 20. And for four years, he lived in the US uh, working in different uh, small uh, companies. And he came back to Canada and he wanted to become a religious brother. At the age of 24, he entered into the congregation of Holy Cross and from there he became a doorkeeper of one of the colleges in Montreal. And he remained there as a doorkeeper for 39 long years and millions of people gathered around Brother Andre to pray with him and he always prayed through the intercession of St. Joseph. And so that's why he wanted to build a church, chapel for St. Joseph which gradually became the largest church dedicated to St. Joseph in the world and that's St. Joseph's Oratory in Montreal. As I speak to you from here, from St. Joseph's Oratory, I want to send all the blessings for the National Conference. But I want to tell you that we are going to send this small first class relic to all the units uh, of Jesus Youth across Canada. I think there are more than uh, 27 units, so this relic will come from here to all the units to pray over and this major reliquary of the heart of St. Andre will come to the final uh, conference day on the day of the birthday of St. Andre, that is 9th of August. So we will have a healing celebration and session, anointing and healing and uh, thanksgiving to God for St. Andre on that day of the conference. So I invite all of you to come with your families to participate in the National Conference uh, of Jesus Youth in August and I'm sure that it's going to be an amazing time together with St. Anton the Set. It's going to be an amazing time of youth living uh, our faith. May God bless you and may God bless your families.